Welcome back to the channel. As the title says, I have an announcement to make. And actually I have two. Um, so we'll do one at a time. So on the 16th of August, 2021, I had the news that I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And over the time between then and now, I've gone through a roller coaster um, of ups and downs. I had chemotherapy, I then had surgery, I then had chemotherapy again, and finally radiotherapy. And on Friday, just gone, was my last radiotherapy treatment. And as a celebration of this, together with my partner Vicky, Ollie and his girlfriend, we went out and had a nice meal and a glass of wine to celebrate the fact that I finally finished my cancer treatment. Um, there's a number of people I just want to say thank you to. Um, so first of all, I want to say thank you to my partner Vicky. At times I've been very grumpy and very moody and she's been super patient with me over the whole of the time. She's looked after me, she's ordered foods and that that I've liked, she's cooked for me, she's, she's really, really done great. I'd also like to thank my family um, for supporting me, although they're thousands of miles away. Um, I am um, an only child, I'm my parents' only son. They were of course super, super worried that they couldn't be here with me but they've been very, very supportive. And finally, I'd like to thank you guys. From the day I told you all that I'd been diagnosed with cancer, the amount of support and well wishes that I've received from you all has just been absolutely overwhelming. I couldn't have done it without you. You know, um, I couldn't have done it without everybody. You've all been so, so supportive. And on the days when I felt down, I've looked at some of the messages I've received um, and that's just picked me up again. So thank you, thank you so, so much. It was so appreciated. So what now? Well, the next stage, um, I'm still very sore from the radiotherapy, both on my chest and under my arm. It's like having a very severe sunburn. Um, I'm told that will improve over the next two weeks. Um, but the next major thing that I want to concentrate on doing is building back up my energy and my stamina. Um, so that's what I intend to do. Like Ollie mentioned in his uh, video recently, I'm eager to get going. And uh, yeah, so I want to get out there making some content. I feel I've been stuck in the house for so long and I'm eager to get outside. But one step at a time, I don't want to rush and uh, cause myself any problems. So yeah, one step at a time. And as um, I've finished the chemotherapy some six weeks, seven weeks ago, uh, my hair had started to grow back. So um, this morning I went and had all my hair shaved off. And there's a very famous Chinese saying, Chong Tao Kai Xia, and it means a new start. But also, I just wanted my hair to grow back a bit thicker too. But uh, the Chinese people out there will understand that saying, and I hope for me, it is also a new start. And now on to the second thing, which is something that Oli has already mentioned in his last video, that we are going to be leaving China. And I just want to sort of give my take on that and also um, correct a few misunderstandings that some people seem to have had in Ollie's video. So by far the biggest reason that we are going to leave China is that we want to go and see family. Now, Ollie said in his video that we've been stuck in China. In fact, he didn't actually mean we've been stuck in China. What he meant is that when as a foreigner, when you leave China, it is very, very difficult to come back. So we didn't want to put ourselves in that position. As you all know, I've gone through all my treatment here in China. So during that time, 
I was not able to leave because I was continuing to have my treatment. But now my treatment is finished. It gives us the opportunity to be able to go back to the UK and see our family. And I am so, so desperate to want to do that. My parents are in their 80s. My mother and father are 85. I'm the only child. Um, my daughter's had a baby. So I have a granddaughter, which I haven't seen yet. So I'm really, really desperate to go and see them. So that's what we're going to do now. We're not going to be leaving immediately. Um, we possibly have a couple of projects here in China that we're going to do. But right now we are targeting sort of late June, early July to fly back to the UK. Now that may change. It may come forward a little bit. It may move backwards a little bit, depending on if and when these couple of small projects we've got uh, here in China materialize or not. So we will keep you obviously up to date on that. And then due to the fact that it's quite difficult at this time to travel around China, we are content creators and we want to create content to bring you guys. And that's really quite difficult to do in China because um, China still have a zero COVID policy. So we thought it was a great opportunity once we've spent some time in the UK to travel to some other places which are a bit more open and create some more interesting content. Um, one of the things that, that also influences our decision to want to make more content and that is, is actually finance and, and revenue. And you probably noticed since I've had my cancer, Ollie hasn't been able to do as much. And um, that's actually quite affected our revenue um, because the revenue from YouTube depends on the amount of views you get. And because our content we feel hasn't been so interesting, our revenue has dropped. Now, we are looking um, to change our sort of revenue model to get more support from subscribers. And we will have an announcement about that in, in the next sort of month or two. We're looking at creating a website where people can become members and join. But in the meantime, if you do wish to support us, you can support us through Buy Me A Coffee or Alipay or WeChat. I will put the code on the screen now. Now, we were having some problems with our WeChat code um, because they thought we were, we were conducting fraudulent transactions, so that may not work. So the best option is um, through Buy Me A Coffee. Now, I just want to now move on to talking about um, what our plan is. So our plan is to, to leave China and fly back to the UK. And we have a lot of family and friends to visit there. Um, we will stay together for maybe a week or so um, while um, you know, we see my mom and dad and uh, Ollie um, will then uh, we'll split up and Ollie will then go and see his uh, friends and I'll go and see some of my friends. And then once we've done everything um, in the UK, we will then look at traveling um, outside of the UK. Now, from Ollie's video, we've had a lot of suggestions um, of, of places to go. Um, but first, I just want to say a lot of people have asked about us creating some content in the UK. Now, we will be creating some content in the UK However, we don't plan to travel around the UK making content. So we will make some content during the course of seeing our family and our friends and some of the places we may go during that. And I have a couple of ideas of making some content of where I grew up and went to school and things like that. But we're not planning to extensively travel around the UK in order to make content. Now, from Ollie's video, um, Ollie asked um, some ideas of places where you think we might travel. And um, it seems that a number of people suggested Europe. Now, Europe is a bit of a tricky one because it's very expensive to travel around Europe. So we were more thinking um, India and Southeast Asia. Now, India is a very popular choice and India is on our list as an absolute definite, because one of the things that strikes me about India is if you go back to the 80s, 
um, the Indian and Chinese economy were very, very similar in size. And that will allow us to, to make some content and compare, so we can compare tier one city in China compared to a tier one city in India, a tier three city. Uh, we can compare the infrastructure, we compare the railway system. So we really, really hope to get to India. Then some other favorites that were suggested in Ollie's video was Malaysia. Now Malaysia is a great place. I know we have a lot of you guys who watch us from Malaysia. So that'll be a, a great one. And other things, uh, other areas, uh, sorry, other countries that we're thinking of doing are maybe um, Vietnam, maybe Laos. In fact, if we go to Laos, we could, we could show the uh, train and railway system that has been built by China there. Um, Thailand is another one. We'd love to go to Japan also and maybe Korea. But again, this will really depend on how easy it is to access those places under the current pandemic conditions. I know Vietnam and Thailand are opening up. I'm pretty sure Malaysia are opening up. Um, so I'm just not sure what's opening up and when and how easy it will be to get to those places. So, but that's, that's our plan. We will probably sort of more focused on Southeast Asia as opposed to Europe. As I say, Europe is very, very expensive. But we may do a European country, but it really, let's see, we have no fixed plan in place and we will probably decide as and when we get to a place where we may go to after that. Now, a lot of you are assuming that we're not going to come back to China. Now, let me explain the situation. For myself, I will definitely be coming back to China because I have a wife and a stepdaughter here so of course i'll be coming back now i don't know the time scale of that it will really depend on how we get on traveling to some different places but i'll 100 percent be coming back and when i do come back i'll be fully intending to make china content when i'm here as for ollie now ollie's current visa expires sometime in august and once he has left China, it will be quite difficult in the current circumstances for him to renew that visa because the, the uh, Chinese embassy are not yet issuing visas to UK citizens. So it may be the case that Oliver will continue traveling around some more countries. I know he's very interested in doing some South American countries, but obviously that will be, depend on, on funding and you know what he's doing at the, the time he may find one of the southeast asian countries he likes and he may stay there for a little while but i'm sure ollie will be coming back to china but i think it will really depend on the visa situation as you're probably aware it's very difficult to travel or to get visas to travel back into china at this point in time um i'm as I say, I will definitely be coming back, but the time scale, I'm not 100% sure. I hope by the time I come back, I don't have to quarantine, but hey, let's just wait and see what the situation is at that time. So just to conclude, my cancer treatment's finished. We are leaving China, certainly not permanently. Um, we're gonna do some traveling around uh, India and Southeast Asia. We really, really hope you will find that content interesting. We have had a lack of, I think for want of a better word, interesting content over the last few months. Ollie's found it quite difficult to create content without me because we're so used to being together. It's been difficult to travel around China, so there's only so much content you can do in Shenzhen. And again, I just want to thank you. Thank you all for your support. It's been absolutely wonderful. I've read your messages over and over again. I will do a video about my final stage of my cancer treatment, which is the radiotherapy and how that's gone. I still have a few side effects from the cancer, which is a very sore chest and under my arm from the radiotherapy and also some um, strange feeling or non-feeling in my feet, which is still from the chemotherapy, but that could take up to two years to um, come back. And as I say, I'm, I'm just so, so grateful that I had a community to share all this with. But as always, for now, 
take care.